Dear friends, let us discuss the biochemical basis of aspirin induced asthma. According to Harrison's internal medicine, asthma is a syndrome characterized by airflow obstruction that varies markedly both spontaneously and with treatment. So, there is airflow obstruction due to bronchospasm in asthma. What are the factors and triggers involved in asthma? As you can see, the table in Harrison clearly mentions aspirin as one of the triggers for asthma. Why? To understand that, let us refresh our knowledge on eicosanoids. Eicosa means 20. Eicosanoids are 20 carbon paracrine messengers. Which is the substrate for eicosanoid synthesis? Fatty acids. Fatty acids are acted upon by cyclooxygenase pathway to produce prostanoids or lipoxygenase pathway to produce lipoxins and leukotrienes. Cyclooxygenase pathway can be called as Cox pathway. Lipoxygenase pathway can be called as Lox pathway. Where is this fatty acid coming from? What is the source of fatty acid for Cox and Lox pathway? They are coming from membrane phospholipids by the action of the enzyme phospholipase A2. Arachidonic acid, a 20 carbon omega 6 fatty acid, is the usual precursor for prostaglandins, thromboxane, lipoxins, and leukotrienes. Right? So, as we have seen, that prostanoids are produced from Cox pathway. The enzyme cyclooxygenase is inhibited by aspirin. What is aspirin? Acetyl salicylic acid. So, aspirin is a suicidal inhibitor or mechanism based inhibitor of cyclooxygenase enzyme. When Cox pathway is inhibited, this Lox pathway goes uninterrupted. So, there is increased production of leukotrienes. This increased amount of leukotrienes, they trigger bronchospasm. So, aspirin inhibits Cox pathway and Lox pathway operates unopposedly and there is increased production of leukotrienes which is the reason for aspirin induced bronchospasm. I have explained this clearly in my book, Biochemistry for Undergraduates. So, what is the treatment for aspirin-induced asthma? Inhalational corticosteroids as well as leukotriene receptor antagonist that is Monte Leucast. So, these are the treatment options available. I hope I have explained this clearly. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask me in the comment section.